Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be accepting every trade again, but I'm going to be flipping the switch here and the joke's going to be on this game. I'm going to draft a team that isn't really great, so they can't make us worse. And I'm just going to try to draft, you know, like prospect kind of players wherever I can. So we're going to add a contract here. Uh, no exemptions. Let's turn... The head coach, edit lines off, owner mode off, of course, and player morale off. Okay. Yeah, we should be ready to rumble with that. Rules and settings. Let's go to quick settings so I can turn off injuries, of course. And autosave, get that out of here. Yes, we are ready to rumble. Continue. And yeah, let's, uh, let's you know, make the most of this. Let's try to find some decent players here that are, you know... Prospect category, I guess. Okay, let's advance to the expansion draft. Yup. Cool. All right. Mm-hmm. Enough notifications for you? Okay. Let's do this thing. Begin the expansion draft. So, I'm going to try to pick players that are... I guess, like, is 25 considered a prospect? I would say not really, but maybe. You can still kind of count it. I suppose. Ghoulie seems to be like a good option there. Yeah, I think um, that's probably our best bet here. Brendan! Alright, welcome to the team. 79 overall. That's not that bad. It could be worse. Anyone here from Arizona? Okay, so 24. Mayo. He's a medium 7th defenseman. That is not that great. Hmm. Her high bottom 6 might be better, actually. So, oh, there we go. Medium top 4. Sorry, Yarvi, I butchered that. Holy crap. Yeah, okay, so that's our boy. That is our boy right there. Boston. What do you got for us? You have Carlo. He's 82 overall, but man, he's 24 and he's medium top four. That is pretty good. Uh, we also got Trent Frederick here. Maybe I will go with him instead. Or maybe I'll go with Jack. 22 and he is a medium top six yeah let's go with jack all right boom there you have it buffalo you're next as bill oldberg would say anyone here okay so the best we can get is casey fitzgerald who's a medium top six 24 years of age what about goalies you have any prospect goalies by chance that you're willing to give up no you do not i feel like that's going to be tough that's going to be tough for sure. But uh, yeah, we're going for... Where are you? There you are. Let's go, Fitz. I mean, he kind of counts, no? Medium starter, he's 23. That's still pretty young. So uh, let's go with... Let's go with Dan. Let's take Dan. Carolina's turn. Bear. Ooh. Or we could take Cock and Yemi. He's only 20. Yeah, that's like... That's got to be the best one, for sure. All right, Jess Berry, welcome to the team. Never mind. We, we can and we will get worse. <laughs> I changed my mind. We're still going to be able to be completely gutted for everything that we own. All right. I'm just going to take... No, not Reese. Wait, hold on. Was it Reese? No, it was Kurashev. Philip. yeah. He's low top six, 78, 21. Good enough. That's enough for me. Colorado. Gerard. That... Well, you know what? He's only 23. Come on now. But yeah, we already know he's going to get absolutely stolen from us. And... Maybe I should just take him, though. I mean, it kind of counts, you know? Get a few good players in here. Do you have any goalies by chance? No. We do have one goalie, which is good. Uh, that Miska guy could have worked, but... I am going to take Samuel Girard. Still kind of prospect E, I suppose. Not, like, really, but... You know, more than the rest. Well, that, that's not even true, either. We could take... Trey Fix Wolanski. Low top nine. Yeah, maybe, but on top of that, like, I mean, it, okay, you know what? I'm just going to take them. We we don't have to just draft bad players. I just want to draft, you know, players that are youth, you know, pretty much. That's the main goal here. Nicholas Camano. He is a medium top nine player, 76 overall from Dallas. Okay, there's a lot of players here I haven't even really heard of, actually. Fabry, maybe. We'll see. I feel like... 25 is kind of pushing it. 24 I will accept, but I feel like that's the cutoff. You know how, like, in franchise mode, 
the the I guess it's the potential sort of stops after the age of 26 when you get to 27 that's when it becomes exact so yeah let's see uh let's take smith medium top nine 23 there you go giovanni edmonton who do you got for us anyone good mcleod boom there it is right off the bat we take those florida should have someone here i would think no uh what about connor Maybe. He seems like the best bet so far. Hmm. Do you have any goalies by chance? And they do not. Okay. Yeah. Let's go with Connor then, I suppose. Blake, you seem like a prime suspect. Boom. There you go. Welcome to the squadron that you probably will not be on for very long. Because, like I said, the teams in this league are just waiting to capitalize. What about Nolan? I think he's the only one that was, you know, 24 or younger. So yeah, it's looking like he's going to be the go-to here. Yep. Welcome to the team, Nolan. Oh, wait, no, hold on. We got, how'd I miss him? Kalen Addison. Okay, hold on. That was almost a whoopsie. We take those. Let's go, Kalen. Medium top four, Kale. Welcome to the team. Time for Smashville. Yeah, Ekholm would be nice, but nope, can't do that. I've pr we're pretty much just making this like a I can't pick players over the age of 24. <laughs> that's that's pretty much what it's become. Uh, we've got Nathan Bastion here, wasn't he? Hold on, is this? I swear he was taken by Seattle, was he not? Never mind. Apparently, I'm crazy. So ignore me. But uh, yeah, we could take we could take Mikey. Michael McLeod, he usually turns out to be a pretty good player, although we will never find out in this scenario. Anyone here? Okay, we got uh, Otto. Medium top nine. He seems like the go-to for now. Unless you have a goalie. No, you do not. Okay. Otto it is. So we are going to need goalies, and I'm going to take Huska from the Rangers because he's 24. And yeah, it seems like we're having some trouble finding goaltenders here. For the most part. Oh! Okay. Hello, Philip. 23. We'll take another one. Now, we should be good for goalies. If we find another really good one, then, yeah, we will take them and maybe go back to one of those teams and select a player instead. But, yeah, we should actually be okay for goalies now. Um, Kasha. Are they related? Maybe? Okay. Who do we got here? Medium top six defenseman in Cooper. Or Matthew is a medium top nine. I guess like, these guys do fit the category, but I want to try taking younger than 24 if I can. Let's go with let's go with Cooper. Yeah. All right. Pity. Who do you got for us? You got Jeff Carter. He does not fit the category. Scrolling down here. It's got to be... Yeah, here we go. Got a few players here. Medium top nine. That's pretty good. Yan. Yeah. That's very decent. Or we could take medium bottom six. There's also a medium top six defenseman. Goalies. No. Okay, so, yeah, now, who do we pick is the real question here, and I am gonna take, hmm, medium bottom six versus medium top nine, but, you know what, yeah, okay, let's go with Yan, there you go, San Jose, time to select a player from you, and Merkley it is, yeah, that's a good, solid draft pick. Or, not really, a good solid expansion pick. Morgan Geeky. He seems like he would be a... Oh my, okay, yeah. I'm glad that Seattle is not exempt because two good players right there. And now I don't know which one I'm going to take, actually. I'm, I'm leaning towards Flurry. It's probably going to be Flurry. But they might have someone else down here. No, okay. We're going with, uh, we're going with Flurry. Yes, we are doing that. Unless... Ooh... Nope. Nope. Sticking with Flurry. We've actually got a few choices here from St. Louis. There's pretty much two of the same player. We got Costin and Brown. And it looks like we have eight centers and only four left wingers. So I'm leaning towards Klim. Yeah, we'll take him for now. All right, cool. We're actually, we're almost there. We're getting near the end. And, you know, we do have quite a few young players. Sergachev, easy peasy. Yep. We are going to get some good players. But we already know... 
that they are essentially gone. Lilligren, welcome to the team. There you go. Vancouver. They're just making it easy at this point. Goalies? Ooh. Di Pietro. Yes, sir. All right. Four goalies isn't too much. I think we could probably just firm that. But maybe I'll go back and look at the other goalies real quick just to see. Um, Coglin. Medium top four defenseman. How many defensemen do we have? Oh, we have a lot. Oh my goodness, we are slacking for right wingers, but that's okay. Dylan, it is. Washington, who can we take from you? Do you have any right wingers by chance? Okay, we got a couple here. Axel, medium top nine. That's pretty good. Okay. And a medium top six defender. We don't need more defensemen, so I'm going to try to avoid him. What about... Uh, Garrett, medium top nine. Let's go with Axel. Yeah, he's got a cool name. Sick hair. So we will take him. Winnipeg. Last but not least, they have... No, it's okay. Who will we take from you? It's going to be Logan Stanley. Or should it be? No, it's going to be Logan. Yeah, high top six defenseman. There we go. Team is complete. I cannot wait to get absolutely bombarded with trades. Okay, finish the draft. Let's get out of here. We ended up with pick number four, so let's sim to our pick. So far, it's only medium elites, and the overall dropped off pretty quick, so I don't think we're going to have a player that's NHL ready. But obviously, we're taking Craig here because he's a guaranteed medium elite. Two years till NHL ready. We will see about that. That man's probably getting some minutes this year. Uh, two years till NHL ready. Yeah, we'll go with the uh, medium elite guy here. All right, Craig, you have any abilities? He does. He has three. Nice. We take that. Oh, you can do that. Okay, cool. No? I don't know how that worked. Oh, wait. What? It is working, kind of. Anyway. Yeah. We were the first one to not get an X-Factor. Does the person after us get an X-Factor? That's the real question. Nope. Just one ability. Okay. Nice. Time to modify that trade block. We got a whole bunch of draft picks on the block here. Surplus. They don't want to put any players, but we'll see about that. Forwards. Defensemen. And on top of that, goalies. Yep. Boom. There it is. No one is safe, including our draft picks. These are all getting turned on as well. Why do we even want draft picks? We have so many young players on this team that we don't need our draft picks, really. Uh, once. All right. Now we're talking. Let's get rid of all that. And we want any forward. We want any defenseman. And on top of that, we will take... Do I do pending UFAs? I don't think it matters. Let's do goalies, yeah. Let's just uh, keep it that way. All right, here we go. Let's see how many trades we get as the newly expanded Rabbits sim to next season. Okay, so we're already losing Blake and Jack. Amazing. For a second and a fourth. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know what, actually? I will accept this, but hold on. Let me stop the simulation. Oh, my word. Wow, what a trade. Okay. All right, we're getting a little bit better here. I would like to try something on for size. Let's go to trading block and let's actually, you know what? Maybe they were onto something. Let's let's turn off some draft picks here and see if we get any trades still that are strictly players. So we don't want any draft picks. We want players here, okay? Because we are trying to have at least a half decent season. So go back here and watch. We're going to get nothing now. Oh, never mind. We still get stuff. Flurry and Gustafson are done. All right, accept. And another one. Couture. Oh, my word. All right, accept that. Maybe we will be decent. Okay, there's a couple more players gone. Couple more coming in. Accept that. We're still getting tons of trades here. Bull Duke. Okay, Cody Glass. Aw, oh, Stanley and Gooley. That's unfortunate, but can't say no. Hands are tied here. Lysel, again, this guy is just a repeat offender. Accept. Who else do we have? Brent Burns and Bonino. Yes, accept that. Okay, Wolf. Four of... Oh, that's kind of lame. I think Valer... Well, would he have been our... Yeah, he would have been our starter for sure. So there goes our starting goaltender with Smith. But can't say no. And another trade from Calgary. Could have just included this in the other one. But it's whatever. Tyler Johnson and DeHaan for Costin and Keppen. Accept that. Marco Rossi, okay, and Cam Talbot, let's go! We're losing Sergachev, but at least we're getting a starting goaltender back and a decent player there. Victor Arvidsson and Edler in exchange for Addison. 
Wow, okay. I like the way this one's turning out. Aden Hill and Carlson. Wow. We have Carlson now, and we have Brent Burns. Uh, Broussard for a fourth and a sixth. Okay. Carrick and Fowler for a second and a fourth. We might be decent. Just from these trades, we actually might be. Corrali and... I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't even want to try. It seems pretty simple, but it just, <laughs> I feel like it's going to not come out right. So anyway, uh, for a third and a fifth. Okay. Are we finally done? No, we are not. Rowney for a seventh, except. Okay. Now we might be done. Another trade from San Jose. A third and a fourth for Miller. And, oh, I guess it edited the trading block. Okay. Best roster. Yeah. I'm going to have to do the trading block there again, but. Yeah, we, we definitely beefed up there. That's the opposite of what normally happens. Normally we get rinsed, but this time we added some players for sure. So let's do best lines. Okay, this is what we got. Not too bad. I mean, it's not good, but it's better than what we could have had. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that then. Where's Carlson? What the heck? He's not scratched, is he? Or did we trade him at some point that I just don't remember? Uh, he's not there. There's no way he's in the minors. Go to roster moves. Maybe he was a part of a trade and I just missed it. Yeah, because I think his overall would be up here. Oh, wait, no. I want to check in the system, right? So, in the system. Nope, he's not there. So, I guess we got rid of him again. Interesting. Don't remember that, but that's okay. Yeah, that's our team. So, let's go ahead and modify our trade block again one more time here. Boom. And see what we got. I do not want these guys on the block. No, I want to keep them. Let's try to get rid of some of our... Yeah, Odalin. See you later, Odaline. You can get off the team. Same with Rossi. See you later. I want to try and do the opposite of what we normally do. Fabian, see ya. Uh, 66, Bullduke. Smell you later. I'm going to try this for now with our surplus only being picks and us having these players. And then our wants being essentially anything again just to see if we can... Add some more players to the team that will actually benefit us. But yeah, if we're not getting any, I'll go modify it again. And then we could go back to the typical rinse fest that is the accept all trades. Okay, there we go. Sure. Accept. And best roster. So we are still getting trades, it seems like. Gustafson coming in. All right. Yes, we accept that. That's going to be another defenseman, which, I mean, we actually don't really need. Um, okay, that's unfortunate, but we accept it because we have to. I mean, we're not doing awful. You know, things could be much worse, especially considering the team I drafted. Toronto is, like, clearly on route to the President's Trophy, at least from what I saw of their record. Maybe I looked at it wrong, but it looked pretty darn impressive to me. Zach Parise for Fabian. Yes, 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 for sure. Let me just go make sure that he's actually in the lineup as well. Because I feel like there's a good chance that they don't edit the lines. But maybe they do. Yeah, looks like no. So let's do best lines again. Wait. Hold on. Am I missing something here? Never mind, I found him. He's down here on the fourth line. Alright, and defense. I just want to make sure that that is set up like that again. Okay. Yeah, Cam Talbot, let's go, buddy. And we go on a horrific losing streak here, heading into the trade deadline. I just assumed we were going to lose that game as well. Yeah, so that is six in a row. Amazing. And now it is time for the trade deadline. Let's uh, keep our... Actually, you know what? Let's be a buyer. Let's be a buyer. And let's enter the deadline. Sorokin would be nice. Can we find a trade? Yeah, we can. Victor Arvidsson. Sure, why not? Accept that. All right. Ryan Ellis, he would also be a good player to pick up. There's a lot of good players here. Can we find anything for Kane? We can. All right. Sure, why not? Just making, like, massive moves here. See you later, Dell. What about Ryan Ellis? Nothing. Okay. Yeah, this is one way I could do this. Just continuously try to make trades and see what happens. Okay, continue. So we just added Zach Hyman as well. What about... What about Oshi? Nothing. Uh, Suter? Nope. And we got Phil the Thrill here. We can get Phil for Kock and Yemi. Oh, I instigated it, but now I have to accept it. All right, welcome to the team, Phil. If we go further here, I follow 83. We could try it. No trades found. 
And if we try for Subban, no. So I think we have really pushed our luck here. Is there anyone I missed? I think I tried it for all of them, right? Uh, yeah, no trades found for Ellis. Uh, you already, yep, already got both of you guys. Suter, nothing. Oshi, nope. Ranta, no. I already got Kessel. Nothing there. And nothing there. Okay, well, we added a few good pieces to the team. I mean, we got a 87 overall goaltender. Some decent forwards here, 285s. And we added an 84 Phil Kessel as well. Yeah. Very decent. Is there... Oh, sold. Yeah, we could see... Oh, it's basically... Yeah, it's just going to be the same list. Available. Hmm. We could try to... Like, what about JVR? Can we find a trade for JVR? Nope. Deno. No. Taves. Nope. Okay. So, yeah, I think we've... Uh, I think we've pushed our luck here for the most part. Cam Atkinson? No, nothing. All right, well, we've made a lot of trades. Let's go put this team together and see if we can somehow make a playoff push. Hammerhead's legend? No. Okay. Yeah, let's get out of here. Brian Boyle. Yeah, let's claim him. Sure. And time to edit those lines. Arizona struggling. Wow. That is not good. Best lines. Boom. So we get Kane, Couture, and Nuge. Hyman, Johnson, and Kessel. Corrali, Broussard, Benino. And then our fourth line down there isn't spectacular, but, you know, maybe get the job done. Ooh, get that plus one. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Anything I can do here to get a plus one? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, that gets that line a plus one, though. So let's do that. Hyman, Couture, and Kane. So we got power forward, playmaker, two-way forward. Sure, why not? Fill the thrill. It's going to be a sniper, no doubt. Ooh. Maybe I should move the sniper to the first line. Just have a killer second line. So that way we got Phil with Logan and Hyman. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, defense. Nope. Yep. Anything I can do here? What if I actually do that instead? Oh, ho, ho. no, can't do it. Just go with the zeros. Anything here I can move. Nah, it's not worth it. Okay, we'll leave that. So there's our defense. There's our forwards. Here's our goaltender situation. Let's see if we can somehow... Make a last second push. It's going to be very difficult considering we are currently 26, 32, and 4. But, you know, anything's possible. We are winning a lot of games here. I don't want to jinx us. We're obviously going to start losing some soon. But, man, what a post-trade deadline from the Rabbit so far. That was a successful trade deadline to say the least. Big win over Montreal there. We're, you know, like middle-ish of the division. It is possible. We can't rule it out. Here's it. We're going to go on a big losing streak to end it, aren't we? Oh, no, we're not. No, we are not. Oh, dude. We had to be so close. We had to be so darn close. That was the best possible effort I could have asked for you guys. Wow. I thought we were going to make it for a second there. I started to believe. 41 wins. Yo, we got shafted, actually. We genuinely got shafted by the wild card. Wow. That is lame. Red Deer almost made it in. Anyway, let's go to the entire league. Florida with 126 points. Not bad. Not bad at all. They destroyed the entire league. Made light work of the NHL. Oh, it was the top 16 teams that made it. So never mind. Never mind. We didn't get shafted. We just weren't good enough. But we were right there. We were right there. So we got to be happy with that. Nuge had the most points with 63. Kane ended up having 60. Couture with 60 as well. Kessel had 56. Hyman, 49. So yeah, we ended up building a pretty decent team, actually, just by accepting other trades and, I guess, finding trades as well. Let's go to our goaltenders. Um, Talbot, he played a lot of games for us. He had a 907. Sorokin, 908. Dell didn't do so hot. But yeah, Sorokin, he did okay. He had two shutouts, three shutouts for Talbot. Defenseman, Brent Burns ended up having 47 points. Fowler, 42 Barry 37, so they did okay back here. I'm surprised Gerard never ended up getting taken from us, honestly. And forwards, we have the Nuge. Yeah, we saw that already. But let's go to the entire league. And boom. McKinnon, 113. That is quite a few points. He definitely gets the Art Ross there. He might even... No, he doesn't have the Richard. Ovechkin has 52 down there. So maybe he will? Yeah, maybe. Looks like it. Unless someone has... Just a lot of goals and not too many assists. But for forwards, Nate Mack dominated. 
Check out the defensemen. We've got Fox with 73, McCarr 70, and yeah, quite a few defensemen here with a solid amount of points. Goalies, we have Bobrovsky with a 919, 43 wins on the year. Shesterkin, 919 as well, 42 wins. Okay, simulate the playoffs. I'm actually kind of upset we didn't make it, man. We were so close. We were so close. What a comeback story that would have been. For the Red Deer Rabbits, but yeah, unfortunately, we just weren't quite good enough. Carolina goes on to win the Stanley Cup. And the Charlotte Checkers won for the Calder, which I am pretty sure that used to be their AHL team. Didn't Carolina also, like, wasn't there a team called the Rink Rats or something? Or the River Rats that was the AHL team? Or am I just making that up? Could be making that up. Anyway, um, yeah, let's check out the awards, shall we? Boom. So Carolina with the Stanley Cup, Presidents Florida, and then Colorado, Carolina was the finals. Individual, Nate Mack with the heart and the Art Ross. The Norris goes to McCarr. So far, the Avalanche cleaning up. Nate Mack with the Lady Bing. Bunting gets the Calder. Oh, cool. Uh, Terravine with the Con Smythe. Bobrovsky with the Vesna and the Jennings. Strawman gets the Masterton. Jack Adams goes to Clapperton. Is that Chris Clapperton? Uh, Bergeron gets the Selkie. Nate Mack with the Lindsay and Ovechkin did get the Rocket Richard. Here's the playoff tree. That's how it all went down. And yeah, that was an interesting one. I'm still, you know, <laughs> a little upset we didn't make it, but it was a great run nonetheless. It added some suspense. So yeah, we would have got rinsed in the first round regardless. Would have been nice to make it though. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. I'll see you soon.